everyone. Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to the fourth episode of season 11 of the Community Podcast hosted by Sipsos Africa. For those that have listened in on the past three episodes, I was privileged to host Treasure Layola, an enabler of the executive office at Sipsos Africa. We had very good discussions on community and what giving and generosity look like in the Ugandan community. Episode four captures the stories from season four of the podcast and um, from understanding the uniqueness of giving through animation, the power of film as a tool in the hands of creatives and the use of art as a tool for peace building within communities. Our guest today explores the theme of generosity and arts. This morning, I'm privileged to host uh, a creative and artistic thinker, a lover of aesthetics, and the center of our show and tale at Sipsos Africa. I hope that uh, will join in with me and listen in to an amazing uh, person at the Sipsos Africa team. Dear listeners, join me as we welcome Edna Rebecca. Hi, Edna. How are you? Hi, Bwene. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for this season, for this episode. So let's go. Okay. So tell us more about Edna. Who is Edna and what, what do we need to know about Edna? Ah, Edna is an eccentric artist that loves to write, loves action movies, and loves to read books. But most importantly, loves um, learning new languages. Mm. So... The, the whole aspect of learning, um, is it directly coordinated to being a creative? Are you ever learning? Or is it is it being a creative that you know, leads you to learning? Which which is which? Do they work together? Or is it a... Being a creative, you're always exploring what's new, what works, what doesn't work. And with that comes the process of learning and growth. So my desire to learn is to always expand my knowledge, to see what else this human form that I was given can do. So I'm always pushing the limits and seeing how far I can go. Wow. Wow, that's very interesting. So um, today we are going to recap season four of the Community Podcast. And this season is very interesting because for the first time, uh we talk about you know the creatives giving and art and the different art forms and how art can be used as a tool even in the different communities so in your own uh opinion and recap of the season how how do you think art and philanthropy uh collaborate or come together being a creative and an artist mm -hmm. but also a show a show and tell at Save Source Africa I have come to experience art and artists in a different way. They are giving people and they give of themselves in their creativity, the paintings they do, the animations and the film. So I also believe that artists are co-creators with God. When God has a message, he lets artists dream and he allows us to see that through their work. So already artists are giving. They are giving of this of their message freely. They invite you to see their work. Yes, you can buy it or you choose not to buy it. But even that process for you to be able to see that message and receive that message is in itself philanthropy. Wow, wow. Very, very concise and and and, and direct to the point. So tell us more about the Kuonyesha art fund at Sipsos. Uh, I know for a fact that the Koenyesha Art Fund supports artists. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe our listeners would want to know where these artists are from, mm -hmm. what works, uh, the diverse work that they're doing, and, and in any any way, any listener out there could uh, could uh, be part of, of this amazing work that the Koenyesha Art Fund is doing. The Konyesha Art Fund is an art fund that supports artists in Uganda, okay. but also supports them in their diversity and creativity. Okay. It's not tailored to just actors or musicians or artists or anybody that has a dream of being an artist or had a dream, even perceived it sometime that they could do something with their work, with their creativity, the Konyesha Art Fund is there to support you. And right now we are supporting artists from Golo, Karamoja and Kampala. But the hope of the Konyesha Art Fund is that we hope to diversify and reach other regions of Uganda. But as per now, those are the regions that we're con like really um, looking at. But also, who can apply for the Konyesha Art Fund? Mm. Even if you're eight years old. Oh, wow. 
Wow. And you wow. had a dream. Because yeah. we are supporting people that are 70 years old, that had a dream of maybe making a film, that had a dream of um, being a leather maker. All these people are supported by Konyesha at Fund. One in particular is um, an artist called Namoye Ebokot. He is found in Kotido. Mm. So Namoye is an older guy, but mm. he does cup knitting in his community. So he's invited katorasaurus from all different regions, and he has introduced a craft to them. Mm. So they engage in, in knitting crafts and then they take them to Kenya. Some of them, they sell them to Uganda and they're able to make a living out of it. But if you, if you were to invite Namoya to apply for other funds or other opportunities, many people would find him, you know, mm. not eligible because mm. he doesn't speak English. He only speaks his mother tongue, and but being able to translate and connect with such a human being that is able to create not only art with their cup knitting, but also connect with his community is such an amazing thing. So I think Konyasha Art Fund is a thing of dreams. You know, it makes dreams come true. It allows the impossible to become possible. It believes in human beings and it also allows you, it allows us to dream with our partners to see where else and what else they can do. Wow, a thing of connections, a thing of community. So I, I want, I want to, to get back to that. So art and community, um, I know you've talked about individuals. I know you've talked about uh, the amazing stories that are happening. What about art and the aspect of community? Uh, when we bring people together, how, how do we envision art? I know that in season four, uh, one of the aspects that was covered then was, you know, peace building and, you know, uh, leveraging art as a tool to, you know, unite communities to one common cause. You, would you say one or two things about that? Um, art. Art in itself is inspired by the community. Mm. Artists create from what they feel, what they experience, and what they see. They mm. can only do that if they are part of the community. Mm. Yes, they can create from within themselves, but mostly they are trying to tap from the different energies that are around them. Mm. And that energy is produced by community. So when an artist paints um, a painting, let's say, about uh, sanitation or they pre they paint an abstract about maybe beauty and representation and identity and colorism. They have got all those inspirations from their community, the people that they talk to, the people that they meet, the people they interact with. So art in itself cannot exist independent of their community. It feeds from their community. They feed from one another so that they can coexist in this ecosystem. Wow. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, so, so, Edna, about creatives and the young you said you know i like that you pointed that koenisha art fund is supporting artists from across the board and across all ages we could have listeners who are listening in today and are wondering you know uh one i'm a creative but i feel i'm not maybe i'm not i'm not welcome to my space in the community or i feel like i'm, I'm what i'm doing doesn't exactly feel like i'm giving back how would you encourage them to, you know, to, to push for that which they believe in and to, to, you know, come to the fact that they are actually philanthropists. They're actually giving back mm. through their art. For young artists out there, if you're creative, you're already giving. Okay. Now we have to go to the stage of receiving. When we receive, sometimes we receive criticism, sometimes we receive positive comments, sometimes we receive celebrations from our community. But that is not consistent. Mm. You have to look within yourself and know yourself that, okay, I am a painter, I'm an animator, and do that with a heart of giving. You're giving of yourself, you're giving of your creativity to the community. Uh, it may not come with positive change or it sometimes may come with negative perception, but the fact that you believed in yourself enough to put out that message, to put out that painting, to put out um, that tapestry, to to put out that film in itself is giving. Um, this reminds me of one of our partners called um, Aganza Kisaka. She did a film called Vanilla and um, she was a Konyesha Art Fund partner for 2021. But then the Vanilla film spoke of the um, caretakers that take care of vulnerable uh, individuals. Sometimes they have schizophrenia, sometimes they have mental disabilities. But she was able to look at the other part 
of who the caretaker is, the struggles that they go through, uh, the insecurities, the fears that they go through, the sacrifices that they have to make. And when you are watching this film, yes, you will cry, but you will think of that relative, you know, that is sacrificing to stay at home with a disabled person. Mm. You will think of them differently. You'll be more kinder. You'll be more patient with them. And that in itself, it's giving. Other people look at it as just a movie, but she gave us a message. She allowed us to think outside of ourselves and think of other human beings. When you start thinking of another human being the way you would think of yourself, in itself, it's giving. And only art can help you transcend to that realm and that position. Wow, wow, wow. That's very deep. Um, thank you very much, Edna. For those that haven't tuned in to season four of the Community Podcast, this would be a very, very great time to do that. Edna has broken down uh, ah, art and, and generosity in an amazing way. I, I hope that you will make time to tune in and listen to the entire season and see what the different episodes of season four talk about. So, Edna, any any parting words for us as we conclude the episode as we um you know talk about art and generosity any last words for us art in itself is giving it's giving of our time it's giving of ourselves you can't create from an empty place you have to create from a place that is full and artists and creatives are always creating from a place that is full because they want to give of themselves to the community, to our country, to different causes. So if you're an artist out there and you're looking at your artwork or you're looking at your craft and thinking, how can I give back to the community? Look at the different causes around you. Look at sanitation. Look at children going to school. Look at the different civic um, and social issues that are happening within your community. Create from that place. Let those inspire you to create artworks that speak to those causes. In a way, you're giving back. You're bringing light and kind of an insight to what those issues are. Because if you paint, for example, if you make an animation uh, that speaks about... Um, uh, that, that speaks about beauty and colorism. There are so many young girls and women and, and men that are struggling with identity that cannot look at themselves in the mirror and appreciate themselves. But you being able to create such an animation allows them to laugh at their insecurities, to appreciate their imperfections, but also to go out with courage and face the world and knowing that they're truly who they are because they are created for a purpose and a reason. Wow, wow, need I say more? Thank you so much, Edna. This has been a pleasure. Ah, I'm learning so much about art and generosity. Dear listeners, thank you so much for tuning in to episode four. We hope that you'll stay with us in our journey to recap uh, the past 10 seasons of the community podcast. Mm-hmm.